Hello and welcome to the video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use some data that you've got in Excel to create a project plan in Microsoft Project. So as you can see I'm in Microsoft Excel and I have some data that I want to put into Microsoft Project. Now rather than sitting here and cutting and pasting it I can import this into Microsoft Project. Now the key to this is that you keep your data in Excel fairly simple. So I've got row one as headings and row two and onwards is my data. I've got no complicated formatting. Um, I've got no gaps to break things up. It's just a very simple list of, of data. And I'm gonna close Excel. In project, before you can use that data, you need to change one of the background settings. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to file, go down to options, and on the options um, ribbon, I'm now going to go to Trust Center. And within here, I'm going to press Trust Center Settings. And within there, I'm going to pick this option of Legacy Format. And what you need to do is you need to change it from that it does not allow you to do that to allowing you to open Legacy Formats and non-default file formats. Because that's the key here. Without this, we won't be able to open the Excel file. So I've OK back. So now, Project doesn't really have um, a built-in import and export button as words. They've hidden it away. And the way that you do it is you actually go to File and you go to Open to import something. So I'm going to browse to my computer. I'm looking at my desktop. And at the moment, it's only looking for Microsoft Project files. If I change that to Excel workbooks and just scroll down now you'll see within my list I've got my project file that we had open a minute ago. Now if I pick that item and I press open what I now get is the project wizard for importing files into a project. So if I press next it's now asking me do I want to use an existing map? So a map is just an explanation to project of what did you call your columns in Excel and which column do you want me to put that information to in project because this is the first time we're doing it I would use a new map now if I was going to do this process on a regular basis with the same sort of Excel layout I would probably save that so that at a later time I could use an existing map it saves me the job of having to uh, marry up each column later on so if I press next, it's now asking me where do I want to put this information. So I'm going to choose this top one, a new project. If you were to choose the second one, that would add these tasks below existing tasks in the current project that's open. And if you choose the third option, that one requires an additional column that wasn't in my Excel data. That would be a numerical column to denote the task number and then what that would do is it would use that number and it would take the information from the tasks that you've got and, and replace what's in project with the information that's in your Excel spreadsheet. If I press next, because project is made up of these three separate areas I now need to tell it which areas the information is going to go into because the information I had is purely task based I'm going to tick tasks going to press next and now what I need to do is tell it which of the worksheets within my Excel spreadsheet has the information that I want so I'm going to press the drop down I've only got sheet one and now have this area and this is that map that we were talking about earlier on so this allows me to tell it what I called something in Excel and I now need to map some of these fields to the project field that they correspond to you'll see if you name things as fields that they've already got like start and finish it will automatically map them now task believe it or not is not actually called task within project it's actually called name so I'm going to search for name within that list and the number of days is actually in project size it's called duration so now that I've done that I can see at the bottom the name of the columns as they were in Excel and the name that they're now being assigned within Project. I can also see a preview of the data that's going in. If I press next again, 
it now takes me to the final step and at this point as I said if I was going to be doing this on a regular basis I could save the map of the fields that I've just done to save me having to do it each time. Once I press finish I now have my tasks within my project file. So that's how to import data from Excel into project. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you liked it can you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos on various Microsoft Office topics please remember to subscribe and if you press the notification bell you'll get alerted when I drop a new video and I plan to put two videos up every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.